Now y'all leave Beyonce alone. As long as she got something in there, that's all right. Amen. It's all about being in the center of his will. If ever there was a time for a good mic snatch, this was that time. Nobody would have came for Beyonce if she hadn't named that song Church Girl and then expected the church not to have no kind of response, girl, bye. But I honestly think she was banking on a response from the church so that she could come across as some martyr. Just because Dorinda and Twinkie co-signed it doesn't mean the song is okay. At the end of the day, Church Girl is a religious song that preaches a different gospel. The gospel according to Beyonce is that you can embrace a lifestyle of sin and God won't hold you accountable. But Jesus said in Matthew 16, 24, that whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Paul warned in Galatians 1 that anybody who preaches a false gospel is under God's curse. One day, Beyonce is gonna have to stand before God and give an account for every idle word that she put in her music and Dorinda and Twinkie are gonna have to give an account for applauding her.